It is a debate that has been raging on for the last two weeks. Whether indeed there was a deal between Uganda and Kenya on sugar importation or not, and why Kenya is unable to produce enough sugar to meet the 200,000 metric tons annual deficit, considering all the efforts that have been put in place to revive the industry. Because we have a deficit as Kenya. Okay? So what we have been importing from, um, from Uganda would be part of that deficit of 200 uh, metric tons. It is possible that, um, and perhaps the Minister of Agriculture would, would give you the right figures in as far as that is concerned, because that's the licensing ministry. But there is a deficit that we must meet. We have not been importing all of it from Uganda, but we have been importing. And KRA has always been there to ensure that the, the, the sugar that is imported from Uganda is Uganda sugar. East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism CS Phyllis Kandia now says sugar from Uganda will only be accorded preferential treatment if it fully complies with the East African community rules of origin. Kandia says East African community partner states are at liberty to trade among themselves provided the commodities meet the set common market protocols. And when Kandia was put on the spot as to whether there was a sugar deal between Kenya and Uganda or not, as long as those protocols still stand, there is no need for another agreement between the two partner states. That's, that's the fact. The rest is really politics. Um, number two, the issues that were being discussed in Uganda were non-tariff barriers. How do we remove these barriers so that we can increase the trade between our partner states? We need to deepen. The trade between Kenya and Uganda is in favor of Kenya. And so we are looking at how we can trade with our partner uh, state. This even as farmers in sugar producing regions claim they have been recording losses owing to unharvested cane on their farms. The woes on the sugar industry have been blamed on the importation of cheap sugar. Regina Manyara Guitar reporting for Channel One Business.